president of the United States was going to, Barack Obama was going to become the president, and like tomorrow, um, <laughs> right, because he's the president, like poverty was gone, um, you know, uh, uh, hunger, uh, oppression of, of African Americans and Latinos, like capitalism itself would just be uh, uh, destroyed, right, because he becomes the president as an individual. That is not the case. And to, to think that is a lack of clarity, right? So that is a beginning to, so we, 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 that doesn't mean you don't expect things from him. Like he should be able to, he should be pushing us towards a direction that we want him to be pushing us towards, right? And not backing away from that direction at all. But what I'm saying is that it takes all of us, it takes elected officials, it takes grassroots organizations, activists, it takes nonprofit organizations, it takes parent organizations, it takes workers and union organizations, it takes people that, little philanthropists that may have money that are amongst us. It takes all of us to build a, 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 a network, a, a, a team, if you will, to begin to be a force against this force, an equal and opposite force against the force that's pushing us in this direction. Because the law of physics says a body at rest remains at rest until acted upon by some force, right? And that a direction is, is an object is going to go in a direction until it is meet by equal and opposite force, right? So that's just science. So if a, if a thing is moving in this direction, it's not going to go in the other direction until it's met by equal and opposite force, right? Mm -hmm. So if, if there is no equal and opposite force, it'll just roll over what's in its way, right? Mm -hmm. So if you got, you've seen the movie with Denzel Washington about the runaway train, right? They right. put all those things in front of it, and right. it just basically oh, no. smashed it over and ran. Because the momentum of it... And the, velo the momentum, right, and, and the velocity causes force, right? There's a vector, there's a direction, and the momentum of it created that power, right? So when we don't have the momentum, and we don't have the momentum right now, right? Mm -hmm. Claim no easy victories. We don't, have, we don't have the momentum. And because we don't have the momentum, we get rolled over. Yeah. And you can see that we get rolled over because we don't have the momentum. So we have to do things to begin to get the momentum back, like getting organized. And that's going to take us doing some things together. I know it's going to be hurtful for some folks to sit down in a room and do some things with, with individuals, but, but we don't have any other choice at this point. Like, so all we're going to do, we, we've been doing, like we're going to have people marching because people are getting murdered, right? We're going to have the folks marching because their health care is getting taken away. We're going to have people marching over here because they're stealing people's pensions. You know, you got the, the teachers organizing because they're laying people off and blaming the unions, right? You're going to have the students upset because they keep increasing the tuition, mm -hmm. right? And they cut uh, loans and Pell Grants and all these other kinds of things. You got people, people busting. But it's, it, all of those little separate and, and, and individual things are not going to work. And, and your liking an individual person is not going to work. So if I'm going to put it on this guy, and if he can't do it, then it can't be done. It, now you're setting yourself up and that person for failure, yeah. right? You're setting everybody, all those people up for failure because they can't do that alone. It's impossible. We, we, we know science has proven that that's impossible. So we have to do this collectively. That's why I think that what happened here is very important. And it's only a beginning. We can't look at that this as an end goal, but as the beginning, right? So we look at the beginning. That's, you know, it's difficult for people to come up with concrete things to do. And, and, and the reason why we can't do that is because we're not clear, right? If we were clear, then we would know exactly what it is that we needed to do next. Mm. But because there's this confusion, we can't come up with what we should do next. People always say, why are you having meetings? We know, it. We know what the problem is. No, that's not the truth. <laughs> right? So we, people say that all the time. We all, everybody know the problem. You can talk about the problem with days. No, that's not true. You don't know what the problem is. You think the problem is your neighbor's grass is too high. Right? That's not the problem. Right? You, you may think the, the, all, all these things are the problem and, and, and we have not identified it. But I'm going to tell you this. Once the people have identified the problem, coming up with the solutions will be easy. Mm -hmm. People will know exactly what to do because it's not the fact that people are, are dumb. They just aren't clear. Right, so when we provide information and clarity, people begin to see what the problem is, and they don't need you to tell them how to solve it. Because people in their right mind know how to solve a problem once they find out what it is. The light is off, turn the light on, and what's the problem is? Right? <laughs> you, you have to find, and, and I think that that's basically what it is. So we have to spend time dialoguing, conversing with each other around what we think the fundamental issue is. Like, our people are confused about this education piece because of the, the language we use and the, and, and the discussions that, right. that takes place. That's so we'll right. say charter school, and that's wrong. We shouldn't talk, 
talk in the uh, you know the context of charter and the context of that because people, our people are in the middle of that, right? right? So we got to find out what the fundamental contradiction is in That's that right. and begin to talk about that That's and right. not say because because like the sister said today, well my kid goes to a charter school, so now I feel like you're talking about me and right. my charter school. So it's not the because I'm gonna tell you something. You know, African free school existed before these charter schools yeah. came That's about, right? right? Yeah. That's so right. It's, it's important to. To, to, cause, and there's some of these schools that are, that are doing good work, but it's important to, to talk about what the real problem is. Why, why do we have a real issue with what's going on? We want to talk about the control uh, uh, self-determination. You know, you want to talk about uh, these businesses and corporations and how they're trying to steal the money from the people and this connectedness with your unemployment, the connectedness with the lack of pensions, why uh, uh, these kids have things and, and the other kids don't. Or so why they have these renewed schools and they, they're going to defund all of the schools in the city to fund eight schools. And why, why eight schools are important. And who picked these eight schools to renew? And renew them by closing down other people's schools and send them there. And so and all of the progressive people that have worked in the city to help uh, uh, regular schools, regular schools do well, they hire those people to work just for the renewed schools. Right? And people don't see these contradictions because they don't have the information. That's right. Right? And our job, if you're in charge of something, your job is to give out the information, That's right. not to hoard it. Hmm. And we do that a lot. Like we get a, yeah. we get our little group, and we just talk to each other about it, and we become experts at, at it, and nobody else knows anything but us. Mm -hmm. And we just hoard the information, and we don't. And then we blame everybody else for not showing up to the stuff that we give, <laughs> and we have not told anybody anything, <laughs> right? <laughs> So we, all oh, them people are just lazy and ignorant. They don't care about their children. But you're the only people who know what's going on. Because the only people you text are the people who agree with you. And the people who are around in your circle, right? So you have not told that to anybody else. So why would they even show up to anything? Because they don't even know what's happening. And they're not clear on why they should even be there. Right? You might be talking about me there while I'm coming there. Y'all having a meeting against charter schools. Hell, my kid is in a charter school. I'm not going to that crazy meeting. Right? So, but that's not what it's about. So we, 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 you can't do that. And like the, the biggest, the only like real uh, criticism I have of the whole thing is like we at the university, uh, we at Essex County, right? So the, the most people that should have been here are Essex County students. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's the fundamental, that's like me having something at my house and the people in my house not even there, right? Mm -hmm. So then you start wondering, you know, that's like when I was at the council meeting, I was kind of leery of the people who come from other cities mm -hmm. and say, y'all should do this in Newark. And I'm sitting there like, it might be good, but why the hell you ain't doing it in Jersey City where you live? <laughs> <laughs> well, this should happen in Union, you know, I'm like, but don't you live in Union City, brother? Are they doing this in Union City? 